Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengs, and today I have a very serious announcement to make. I don't like you guys. I never liked you guys. Because I love you guys. Ah. After defeating a Kurdo who moves east, deep into the frozen lands of Ilya. He soon enters the THICK forests that characterize central Ilya. However, a commander of Bern, Bishop Martel, lies in wait. I thought what characterized Ilya was like snow, not thick forests. In his possession is an ancient spell said to have been lost centuries ago. Who can we have that? Is, the, is it the apocalypse? Hmm. Ah yes, this map. Nothing like a bit of cinematic snow. Okay. This is an interesting map. Uh, the rivers will freeze over at some point, allowing you to traverse them. It's like Nina. Nima, Nina. Nima trolling the boss right here. Who, again, is not probably going to be very difficult because bosses don't have luck in this game, nor do they have an avoid stat. Honestly, I feel like they've nerfed bosses too much in Project Ember. Your units are too strong, and the bosses not having luck combined with the fact that Thrones no longer gives a void. Uh, honestly, just makes the bosses pushovers. I would probably, if I were to rebalance this, I would give Gates 5 defense, 20 avoid. I think that would probably be a nice compromise for the fact that they just don't have luck, so they get crit to oblivion. And it's just so easy to hit him, you know? And the dude, the dude has 13 defense. I mean, one of the things that made magic bosses hard to deal with was the fact that they usually had pretty high avoid. They were somewhat difficult to hit. They're no longer difficult to hit. So they just melt. They just melt. They are no problem to deal with at all. Your units are simply too strong for these bosses to handle. And one of the trademarks of FE6 was the fact that the bosses were always a big challenge. Mostly because you couldn't bloody hit them, but still. It's just something I, I think probably should be taken into account. Anyway, let's go. Chapter... 18, the Frozen River. I'm very curious to see what they've done with Nima. We don't get to see her yet, though. Father Martel, we have brought the hermit Nima as you asked. Good, let her pass. What do you want from me? You must be Nima, the mountain hermit. I'm not aware of that nickname, but I am Nima. I am probably the one you seek. We found an elder spell tome within the castle. I heard that you may be capable of using it. Most likely. I have studied darkness and elder magic my whole life. I understand that this spell can change the weather surrounding the caster. That doesn't seem entirely improbable. Then I order you to use the tome to create rainfall. Make it rain so that the rivers overflow. Push back the advancing Etrurian army. I can try, but frankly I can't guarantee that it will work. Also, powerful spells like this can only be cast once. Are you sure you want to do this? Silence, hag. You will do as I say. You said you wish to join our forces. Make yourself useful. And Nima just goes like, yeah, let me fix that. Princess Guinevere, we are approaching Burn's army. Yes, I know. As we get closer, we will clash with soldiers of Burn more and more. It will not be long until we are in full combat with Burn. I want to ask you something before that happens. Go ahead. I have heard rumors about King Sephiel. I heard that he killed his father, the previous king. I could scarcely believe it myself. You believe in him so strongly that you cast away your own country. If King Sephiel is truly as mad as the rumors say, I'm sure you would not have done all that you have. Princess Gunnivere, I accepted the Fire Emblem not to use it in battle, but to find a way to end this war peacefully. Roy, I think I have a right to know the truth about the rumors. I'm sorry, please give me some time. Princess, what is the matter? Princess Gunnivere looked very troubled. It's nothing to worry over. Do you need something? Yes, I have learned some troubling information. A powerful dark mage by the name of Nime fights in the enemy ranks. A dark mage? A druid, probably. In any case, she is apparently extremely learned in ancient sorcery. She is said to be more knowledgeable than most scholars can even imagine. We can't pull back now. We press on. Of course, but please exercise caution. Yes, you're right. We must tread lightly. Ah, yeah! I love this track. It is one of my favorites. God, this is probably one of the best tracks in FE6. So intense. It's so intense and full of energy. 
it gives you a sense that you're just wading through a snowstorm, just barely trying to cling on for your life while having to fight units. It is one of the best composed tracks, like, a soundtrack is supposed to fill you with a certain energy, and this soundtrack just fills me with the feeling of just being up to my waist in snow, and I love it. And for some reason, it also works for Sakai, even though Sakai is like the complete opposite climate. I love it. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let's have some fun, shall we? So this uh, flyer's kind of rule on this map. I'm gonna probably send Milady over to deal with these guys. What do these guys have? Bre okay, Bruin Sword, that's actually terrifying. <laughs> I don't know if I want to deal with that. Uh, maybe yeah, I'll send Milady this way. I could probably uh, pick up Roy and have him move over here as well. But honestly, like he moves so fast anyway, he's probably okay. But uh, at some point, the rivers will fro freeze over, and you'll be able to move. Now, this map, I do, I will say, it has a little bit of a slow start, but it does get very hectic after a while. Um, this map kind of seems like it, it isn't really all that much, like you just kind of like move slowly towards the north, but once the reinforcement starts moving moving, and they surround you on all sides, things gets pretty hectic. Anyway, I kind of want to deal with that guy. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolting that guy. Oh, I need to... I don't know why Lou doesn't have animations. Wait, did I turn off Lou on, Lou's animations? Oh yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. That's stupid. I want to see him bolting. There's also houses to visit. I'm gonna try to visit some of them, I guess. We'll see. Uh, let's not put him in range of that Merc, though. But I like doing this. Just take out the Ballista immediately. If we can get Igren on that thing, she can start shooting down the Pegasus Knights with ease. Which is really nice. Well, that's a Sniper, too, so that's nice. I still actually cannot remember if the Ballista uses your Strength for Might. There's some games it does, and there's some games it doesn't. It's really confusing, I don't remember. Also, should we should we summon Roach? Kinda wanna summon Roach, guys. You guys wanna summon Roach? I wanna summon Roach. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up Fear, I think, and move over here. Drump her off later. So those villages will get attacked pretty quickly by brigands. And if you're slow, then you're not going to be able to reach them, which is why I'm sending Milady over there, but... That Rune Sword Vyvern Lord is kind of nasty. I don't know if Milady can kill him. I'll try with the Brave Lance, see if it works, but uh, I doubt it, actually. Yeah, no. Oh, God, she... Oh, boy, that's... Yeah, that's actually terrifying. I don't like that one bit. Oh, Jesus. Um... Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I am not a big fan whatsoever. Maybe we should talk to Douglas and summon some green units. They might be useful for this map. They might be useful. One thing I actually learned during my Iron Man is that in vanilla FE6, Douglas is actually surprisingly good in Ilya. Anyway, I'm gonna summon Roach. General Douglas, we could use some backup. Understood. Yay! Oh, what? Brr, it sure is chilly. Oh my god, he has custom dialogue. He has custom dialogue. I love it. Oh my god, they have this guy has a room blade he can't use. Wait. But how is that possible? Green units or units and or NPCs in FE6 can use all kinds of weapons, so that's really weird. Huh. Okay. Also, Igran has a recover bow now. Just wanna point this out. So she can do this. Ah, uh, okay, it wasn't a crit, but close enough. Close enough. Okay, we need to kill this hero, actually. Actually, we really need to kill this hero. Let me use lightning on this guy. Maybe we can try and recurve this hero right here? Come on, I grant crit. Yes! That's my girl. Beautiful. And we can probably... Oh, is that S rank in bows? No, actually, Gren doesn't have the best bow rank at base. Uh, now she has A. Okay. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna stay out of this guy's range, actually. Because that rune blade, blade guy is just not pleasant. When it gets colder, the rivers all freeze over. And we can get to the village in the east without much trouble. But it's not quite the season, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little warm in Ilya right now, you know? There we go. 
So we got rid of the hero. There's still a merc though that we need to uh, that we need to merc. Uh, a little bit of uh, thunder should do the job. Look at that. Gang. Oh what? Oh that's interesting. Oh the animations are different. It doesn't do the zinc that we're used to in FE8. You know how the how the mage knights go gudink. I don't know why they don't go gudink, but there's plenty of weird animations that don't like. Some people have been saying saying that the bird animations of Elfin they still display, but I don't see it. I watched it many times. People are like, "Oh, listen, Mangs, the bird is chirping," but no, the bird isn't chirping. You look strong, but I bet you couldn't beat the swords. <laughs> they say he's on a level all of his own. Oh yeah, the sword saying. I don't know. Could Barcher take on Karal? I don't know what his bases are like in Project Ember. That Martell who's guarding the castle, he said he has some secret weapon. I'd be careful if I were you. Yeah, I know. He has a purge tome. I'm not particularly worried. Oh, here comes the Peg Knights. Hmm. Ah, those Vibrants are actually going to be a little bit of a problem, I think. Wait, King. Oh, I think Garrett can kill the Vibrant Lord now. Maybe I can trade. Nah, I don't think Garrett can use the Armats, can he? Yeah, nice! Very nice! Oh, that's beautiful. Good job, green units! Nice! They actually hit kind of hard. Oh, that's so good! Wow! Useful green units! Never thought I'd see the day. But here the day is. Okay, uh, let's just mark this uh, defenseless healer, shall we? And then we can dance for our and put her on the ballista. I don't... I don't know if she one-shots Falcon Knights with the Ballista. I'd like to think she does. But I'm not sure. Anyway, that's a pretty shit level up by Gren. Please get your game on. So, uh, what we're gonna do here... Uh, let's, let's check out her damage values. Okay, it's... She kills the regular ones, but not the Falcon Knight. I guess, though, if we attack the Falcon Knight, we might be able to kill the Falcon Knight with Thea. There we go. So if we do this, let's see, uh, 18 damage, just see how much damage these guys are doing to me. Yeah, I think it's okay if we do this. Maybe we can even use the Slim Lance for accuracy, let's do it. There you go. Falcon Knight down. And yeah, let's just keep on tracking. I wonder, I want to see if I can talk to Douglas more than one time. Can you summon Roach multiple times? Because that sounds pretty OP. Just, just saying. And, uh, yeah, I think a regular... I'm actually going to use a... Uh, should I? Should I use a Brave Axe? I want to use a Brave Axe just in case. I don't, I don't want this guy to live. And, you know, Binding Blade RNG is bugged and sometimes it may backfire, so having two attacks is better than one. Anyway, uh, let's just visit this house. Hey, are you the Eturian army that the old lady was talking about? I heard she was originally planning to join you guys, but for some reason she joined up with Burn instead. What is she thinking? She's trolling. That's what she's doing. Nime is letrololololol. Alright, well, we've gotten rid of most of these guys. Horse Slayer, Spear, Silverlands. Do we want to get rid of the Horse Slayer? I mean, actually we cannot get rid of the Horse Slayer, what the hell? Melody! What's going on? Why can't you kill these guys? I am very disappointed. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to take the counter. I guess I could Physic, but uh, I think I'm just going to sacrifice the green units. I'm just going to do this. And if they want to go for me, they'll go for me, but I, I honestly think they're going to prioritize taking the greens. But yeah, I'm gonna see. Can I talk to... No, you can only talk to Douglas once per map. Anything else would have been pretty OP, honestly. Okay, so we have a Silver Lance, Horse Slayer. I don't think Roy's gonna get hit by that. But in the event that he does, I guess just giving him a steal. Actually, no, that lowers his avoid quite considerably. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick a Javelin on him. And we'll just let him do his thing. And one thing I actually can do... Actually, I can't do it. Well, uh, no, I can't. I cannot reach... Uh, I gran. I would prefer for her not to be attacked by the Pegasus Knights, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I can bolting, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, is it say how how accurate are these guys? 120 hit. Blue has 50. Yeah, no, that's 
That's way too freaking accurate. I don't think I want to deal with that shit. But, uh, yeah. I, rem I, I don't think the Ballista weighs you down in FE6. I don't actually remember how it works. God, I love forests, guys. Don't you guys love forests? Forests are the best. Alright, just kill the green units and I'll be happy. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, okay, that really hurts, actually. Is the grand gonna die now? Uh... Yeah, no? Okay. Can the last guy still attack? I hope not. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I think we're actually fine here. Oh, wow! <laughs> Dodgy greens! Dodgy greens! Nice! Nice, nice, nice! Yeah, actually, I, I think Agren might be safe now. Oh no, don't eclipse me! Don't eclipse my bard! Oh no. Ah oh, no! I fought hard, at least. Can I go back to the place I love now? Such a sad death quote. Anyway, BRB. Alright, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I still summon the green units because they are amazing. Look at these guys, they got brave weapons. I love them. It's amazing. And uh, this time around, uh, I'm sending Melody over here to visit the village. I used, I actually lured in the Vivern Lord with Bartra and a Steel Bow. It actually works really well. So, because he has three range, so he can actually retaliate against the Rune Sword. Yeah, because bows are OP in this hack. But yeah, we're just slowly making our way towards uh, the middle. Should probably be able to get there probably before the rivers freeze, honestly. <laughs> I mean, Roy is so fast, he's gonna get there anyway. Because putting boots on Roy is just the best optimal play. Um, oh, nice, speed wings. So I'm probably gonna give those to Lolina, I think. People have been complaining I'm not giving Lolina enough staff boosters, you know? So let's, uh, let's uh, rectify that, shall we? And I do agree, though. If we, if we can actually get a fast Lolina, she'll blow everything up. 16 speed is a little bit on the slow side, I will admit. Anyway, let's start shooting people down. There you go. Whee! This is fun. I kind of like it better in FE7 where you were able to ride Ballista around, though. I think that's kind of cooler, but... It's also pretty OP, and it's annoying when the enemies do it. But it sure gives you a lot more mobility, that's for sure. Anyway, let's do this, um, can I kill the healer? No, I'm not sitting through that. That is not happening. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, okay. Uh, well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> that is kind of annoying. Alright, we're about to reach the village now. Oh, there's the hero. Oh no, don't eclipse my bard, please, no, eclipse your bard, Ooh. Yeah, that guy's trying to silence Lou. I think he actually succeeded. Oh, yeah, he did. But it's okay, I have a restore stuff. Oh, no, <laughs> the green units killed him. Oh, no. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the brigands are starting to show up now. They show up really quickly. I actually have to be pretty quick to save that village, which is kind of weird, but that's how it works. All right, Thea, you're going to go and uh, get this village right here. I guess Roy will just have to... Oh, he can just ride across the river. That's actually really funny. Uh, I'm just gonna Brave Lance this hero. Steel Blade, who cares? I'm Roy. Better have a more dangerous weapon than that if you want to deal with the fucking Lion of Lycia. Oh, wait, is that him? Is that what they call him? Lion of Lycia, I think? Or was that Eliwood's nickname? I actually don't remember. I know that one of them have been called uh, the Lion of Lycia at some point. It's a stupid nickname. <laughs> it doesn't fit them at all because they're... Uh, Royce, is, Royce is akin to a lion as Hector is akin to a freaking cat or, or a swan. It just doesn't doesn't fit, you know. More like the the house cat of Lycia. That, 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 that sounds like a better Roy term. Although I guess I guess Project Ember Roy is like Super Smash Roy. He's the Roy that we always wanted, you know. He's, he's just a manly Roy that runs around and kills everything. Anyway, let's visit this village. Are you the Arturian army? Huh. Burns army just marched through here just the other days, too. When will we have peace again? Here, take this. Use it to end the war. Ooh, secret book. Hmm. But here's the question, ladies and gentlemen. What is actually the secret inside the secret book? Serious answers only, please. 
No memes allowed in this episode. I, I want only serious non-meme answers, okay? What is the great secret of the secret book? <laughs> I can double this guy, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I crit him anyway. Well, good thing we got that Eclipse Tome out of the way, guys. It, it, it was really threatening to us, so very glad to see that. I feel a lot safer now that Eclipse is gone. And yeah, Elfin is, Elfin is very important in this map. Trust me, guys. I got a plan. Alright, the Pegonites should be coming soon. Alright, there's a 3 range light plate. You know, I don't know about putting this one on, like, generic tier 1 units. I don't really see the point behind that. Like, why? The light blade should honestly be strictly like a boss weapon, honestly, just to prevent you from three. I don't. I don't really like one three range weapons. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know if the player ever gets a hand on these, but they just feel weird. They just feel really weird. I know some bosses have to have these weapons literally because if they don't, then you can just three range trees every single boss in the game. And honestly, it just feels weird to me. I, I don't really know if I like it. It's a strange design. Two to three range bow certainly is an interesting concept, but I don't think I would do that in my Fire Emblem hack. I was told that this goddess icon would bring me good luck, but I pray to it every day and nothing happens. That con man tricked me. <laughs> Here, take it. Just looking at it is making me angry. You're not supposed to eat it, man. You're supposed to actually eat it. God, can you imagine some people don't know how to use stat boosters? Alright, can we, uh, can we kill this guy? He has a Fenrir. That is actually pretty scary. I don't know if I want to take that guy on, but... Uh... I mean... Does it really matter? Actually, I want Clarine a little bit closer to Roy, because Roy might get slept, and that would really suck. Anyway, the, the rivers will all uh, freeze up soon, so we should actually be free to move over here with our guys. Wow, Bartra moves pretty quickly through forest. Actually, most of my guys moves pretty quickly through forest now. Or at least it looks that way. I actually think uh, Garrett can cross the river just fine on his own anyway. He doesn't care about hypothermia. He's like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my thing. Uh, I guess I suppose one thing I can do is I can pull some of the Pegasus Knights away from Roy and down towards Melody so they don't go and harass him. That might actually not be such a bad idea. Never mind, here they are. Yeah, so as you can see, like, if Roy gets hit, he goes down pretty quickly. Defense is not something he has a lot of, but, um, I still think he's way too bulky. <laughs> that being said, my Roy is apparently really blessed. I've been seeing some comments saying that, you know, my Roy is actually pretty damn good. And not like an accurate representation of an average Roy at this point. I've also been giving him a lot of kills, so he's really high level. Like, my Roy is like level 15 plus promoted, which is pretty disgusting for this part of the game, I will admit. Uh, he's going to cap out at some point, and it's going to be ridiculous once he does. Especially considering, I don't know what they did to the Binding Blade, but I hope they at least gave it more durability. Honestly, I think the, the, iron, the Binding Blade should be unbreakable, um, because it just makes sense for it to break, considering how important it is for the game, but... I, I, w I think if I were to like rebalance FE6, I would probably nerf the Binding Blade a little bit. Oh, what? Blasts. You made it true with the snow. Curse that useless woman. Oh, he's purging me, I think. Oh, no, he's silencing. Oh, right. And he actually succeeded. Not that it matters, though. All right, more dudes. Um, hmm. kind of want to visit the village. I suppose I will visit the village. What kind of weapons do these guys have, though? Armor Slayer, Silver Lance, Silver Lance? It's a little scary to do this. I think maybe it's better to just kill the boss. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this boss. And then I think that might stop reinforcements. I'm not sure, though. No! I'm too brilliant to die! <laughs> I don't know why, but I always enjoyed that battle quote. It's, it's funny. Yeah, my Roy is level 16. <laughs> He's got four levels to go until he caps. It's ridiculous. Uh, Alright. So wait, what hap- Doesn't the event, like, literally go away then? I think the, the event actually goes away. 
Anyway, uh, well, I don't want to deal with the brigands. I, what I want to do... I'm gonna put my lady here. I think if I put her here, she should be able to visit the village. Actually, is she? Uh, no, I don't think she can, actually. If only I had an Axe Weaver. Yeah, I think Melody's gonna die if I do this. I kinda wanna see what's in there. I don't remember what's in there. But I have a Warp Staff. I could warp someone over there. I could warp Douglas in there. Let's do it. Good use of the Warp Staff. I still have one Hamurn left, so I can I can Hamurn the Warp again if I want to. Alright, let's visit. I was playing outside there, outside, and this ring fell from the sky. A gift from the gods? Nah, someone on a Pegasus saw revive and probably dropped it. Here, take it. I prefer my dolls anyway. Ah, I actually want that. That's uh, Sophia fodder right there. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Yeah, I guess the rivers can never freeze over now because I killed Martel before the event. I mean, maybe it happens anyway, actually. I don't know. Wow, Douglas almost one-shots here. I actually, I, I, I don't know. Um, that would... It would make sense, maybe, if Nima still cast the spell. That the rivers freeze over, but there's no dialogue, but I actually don't know. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That would be cool, but... I honestly think killing the boss just stops the event altogether. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna lose Douglas. Uh, whoops! No more roach for me, I guess. Oh no! Oh no! I lost Douglas! <laughs> mm, I miscalculated! Well... No more Roach, I guess. So, just to like, remind you guys, in case you're going like, Manx, why are you not restarting when someone dies? Oh god, this guy hits hard. Uh, the reason why I'm not resetting is because I'm playing the Sake route, and then I'm loading my save file, and going back to play... Wait. I literally reloaded for Igran, didn't I? I did. I'm so stupid. <laughs> but that was like grand. I can't lose like grand. Uh, waifu still gets reset privileges. Uh, but yes, uh, so after I'm done beating the Alia route, I'm loading a save state and going back and playing Sake. So that's why. Uh, that's why I'm like playing and not really bothering routing the maps. I'm kind of warp skipping them because this isn't really going to be my save file. Like I'm going back and playing Sake and there I will probably play a little bit more seriously. But I just want to see the Alia route. So far, it's kind of cool, but Roy is still trivializing it. At last, I am released from Burns Dungeon. You are? I am Nime. I live in the mountains where I study arcane magic. Why were you in the dungeon? Did you not join Burn of your own choice? Well, actually, I did, but it was only a guise. Burns Army has something I wish to study. And what is that? The dragons. Well, that sure got your attention, didn't it? The dragons you speak of. They're not like the Vyverns that burn soldiers ride upon. They're strange troops that fight alongside burned soldiers. I know that well. They're the same dragons that were defeated in the Scouring. How do you know this? At first, I thought this was only a simple act of aggression by Burn. But then I began to sense a strange and evil force among their troops. I decided to investigate. Did you learn anything? The dragons are very much shrouded in mystery. I looked through many ancient books and scrolls. I could only decipher so many of them, but... But... I have come to the conclusion that Burn has resurrected the Demon Dragon. The Demon Dragon? The leader of the dragons that Hartmut defeated? The very same. Dragons are of a much more advanced species than us humans. Their vitality and intellect puts that of humans to shame. There is one thing, however, the dragons lack in. They multiply at a fraction of the rate humans do. But the Demon Dragon... It had the power to create more dragons. That is what I learned from my research. It can make dragons? The demon dragon can create more of its kind. That would explain where Burn is getting all of its dragons. That seems likely. Now that being said, I wish to learn more about the dragons. I will dark magic. Let me join your army. I'm sure I can be of some assistance. Of course. We want to learn about the dragons as well. It will be a perilous journey. But if that's acceptable to you, you're welcome to join us. Ah, yeah. So that was chapter 18, the Frozen River. I think the next one's the Fog of War map. And then there's the Gaiden chapter. And actually, there's... No, there's two more, actually. The Fog of War and then the Indoor Door thing. And then the Gaiden chapter. 
and then we'll go to sake. See you guys tomorrow, and remember, tell me what the secret book contains. What is the great secret of the secret book? Serious answers only.